If Amsterdam is the traditional big sister interested in history and the arts, Rotterdam is the younger sibling whose interests lie with architecture, modern art, technology and commerce. Nearly completely destroyed during the Second World War, the city has pulled itself up by the bootstraps and today is one of the most important economic and logistical centers in Europe, boasting the second largest port in the world. Um, well, I was in 2010, I was uh, here in Holland on holiday and uh, it wasn't the first time but it was one of, uh, it was a very memorable holiday because my daughter was uh, you know, working as an au pair in Amsterdam. She decided that she wanted to um, experience the Dutch life, the, con yeah, the country, the culture, the language as well. From the day that I returned back to South Africa after this holiday, yeah, I wanted safety and a future for my, for my small family, for my two children. And that's exactly what we got here. Well, in South Africa, I was a journalist for Bild, for Media 24, and a, a, pr a very proud journalist. So although I have a Dutch background from being born from Dutch parents, um, moving to a country like this is like everything is new, along with my husband, whom I met here in the Netherlands and married two years ago. Um, we started an, a wine importing business and uh, we import South African wine from uh, Stellenbosch in the Wellington area. And we sell that here in, in Holland, in restaurants, um, to people who organize events, music events, and, and stuff like that. So that, that is my life right now. So I'm a, a wine importer. The, the wine market in the Netherlands is very tough. It's a, it's a very hard market to crack to get into, but uh, the South African wine is getting, it's gaining more and more popularity amongst the, also the Dutch wine, uh, wine drinkers. So it's, it's picking up. Yeah, it's, uh, we try to go back um, just about every second year, but my parents still live in South Africa, so that's the reason mainly why we go there, but also to expand our uh, collection of South African wines. So uh, holiday is uh, like a working, family holiday, uh, yeah, a bit of both. And then on top, my parents are wine drinkers as well. So we, it's, it's not difficult to combine it. I miss our hospitality, the, the South African hospitality. Um, here, when you arrive round about dinner time at a Dutch family, they will park you on the couch and you will have to sit and wait till they finish, the family has finished their dinner before you, yeah, yeah, before you get involved, let's put it that way. Well, in South Africa, it was very easy to pull another plate and knives and forks. There was always a place for another visitor at the table. Well, the, the, the Dutch people are a little bit more late, yeah, reluctant to do so. But amongst good friends, there was always a plate extra. But um, that's, that's one of the things that I really had to get used to here in the Netherlands. And, and there's another thing in, in South Africa, if you meet a complete stranger, you will ask them, uh, you will say in Afrikaans, Ay, hoe gaan dit? Of, uh, hoe gaan dit met jou? Of, goeie dag, goeie morgen, hoe gaan dit? And here yeah, in the Netherlands, they look at you like, why do you want to know? What is your thing? So it's just, hi, and that's it. So it's, it's like kindness and hospitality and the warmth of South African people, that's what I miss most. A lot of times I speak Dutch and I use, a, in my ears, it sounds a completely Dutch word. And then you also get that look like, and then I realize, okay, that's not a Dutch word, it's Afrikaans. But it, it sounds so Dutch that it's, it might as well be a Dutch word and it's not. 
Well, the one thing that you should surely do here in Rotterdam is go to the market. It's different, it's, it's warm, it's, um, yeah, it's, it's just fun. And you can buy just about anything on the market. It's from vegetables to fruits to fish, fresh food. Um, it's just about anything. One of my all-time favorites in Rotterdam is the Erasmus Bridge which is an, uh, it's, they call it the singing bridge. And the reason I have been told, I haven't heard it for myself, is that the, the wiring between the bridge, if the wind blows in a certain way, then the bridge, uh, it, it's almost like a whistle. The, the thing is, uh, a lot of people compare Rotterdam to Amsterdam. And uh, Amsterdam is much more old school, the older buildings. Well, Rotterdam was um, almost, bombed to the ground during the World War and uh, so a lot of the architecture and it is it's much newer than you would for instance find in Amsterdam. Uh, that would be my parents of course. Um, I love them dearly, miss them always and um, my sister brother in Australia. You're not in South Africa but I want to say hi to you anyway. Uh, I miss you guys. The Markthal is one of Rotterdam's most famous attractions. Open seven days a week, the gigantic glass building calls itself the world under one roof. And what a roof! The building's spectacular ceiling features the country's largest artwork. Inside, you can buy food items and delicacies from all over the world. Outside the Markthal, you can find one of the largest farmers markets in Europe. Every Saturday, farmers bring their fresh produce from all over the region to sell in this colorful market. It's a must visit if you are ever in Rotterdam on a Saturday. Dit is een pad naar een straatorgel en dat, dit, is een, dit is een typische Hollandse ding. Ja. En vooral op die mark of op bezige winkel daar, dan is die orrelman, is, ja, hij, hij speelt zijn liekjes en, en deze daar is het ook die meer bekendere liekjes. Ja. En die oude daar heeft hulle nog met die hand gedraaid, ja. maar dit is nou alles geautomatiseerd ja. en um, hulle speelt ook um, 
Die is daar, weet, modernere, modernere liekies. Ja. Maar die straatorrel het vir my een nostalgie van Nederland. Dit is, a, ja, ek weet nie, dit is dit het sentiment vir my. En baie mense ervaar die straatorrel is baie lastig. Ja. Weet, dit maak lawaai en die, die man wat die orrel speel, hy, hy, hy kry geld van mense. En uh, dus baie mense sien dit als een soort van bedel. Ja, ek ja. Maar um, ek weet niet, dit maakt mij hard warm. The modern architecture and skyscrapers around the banks of Rotterdam's port are virtually impossible to find elsewhere in the Netherlands. Because the Dutch were neutral during World War I, Rotterdam was the world's largest spy center, and MI6 had its major European offices here. In May of 1940, Hitler's Luftwaffe bombed the center of the city to the ground, creating a sort of clean canvas for Rotterdam's modern signature today. When I see photos of Rotterdam, of the skyline, and I see the Erasmus Bridge, it fills me with pride. And I know that sounds strange to hear that coming from a South African, but it fills me with pride. It's sort of like, uh, in a little bit, yeah, in, in a funny kind of way, it's also my bridge now. Catch us next time on Zubroad as we hang out at the Springbok Bar in The Hague. See you there!